All right, now this problem is going to be a little bit of a challenge because what we're asked to do is to find the second derivative of the circle x squared plus y squared equals one. Since we have y squared in here, this implies that we're gonna to have to use implicit differentiation, which means we're gonna to have to take the derivative of that y term, okay? So when we start off, it's nothing that's very difficult. Derivative of x squared is two x. The derivative of y squared is two y times dy dx. And if you're not under, if you're not sure why you add the dy dx, for now, until you get it, for now, just go, hey, Mr. Hazel said to add the dy x, dx, so I'm adding dy dx. And what that's really telling us, though, is that we've used the chain rule, and we've multiplied by the inside of that function, the inside of the y. Okay? Don't forget that the derivative of 1 is 0, and that's a really, really common mistake. Now, just a real quick reminder on why we write down uh, dy dx, just maybe help you get it a little bit, and if you still don't, that's okay, just um, keep practicing, keep practicing, understanding will come. But if I let y equal 5x squared plus 3x, when I take the derivative of that, I get dy dx equals 10x plus 3. dy dx is the derivative of y, so that's why when I do 2 times y, I also have to multiply by the dy dx. Okay, that's the chain rule in full force. Then I want to get dy dx all by itself. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides and then divide both sides by 2y. I'm going to finish by dividing out the 2s. Okay, so dy dx is equal to negative x over y. Now, no problem. What I'm going to do from here is I'm going to take the derivative of negative x over y, but I'm going to rewrite it so that it's negative x times y to the negative 1. That way I can use the product rule, which I think will be a little bit easier as we find this second derivative. Okay, So you get your choice, though. If you prefer using quotient rule, by all means do the quotient rule. Uh, I'm comfortable with that. Just make sure that you follow all the steps correctly. Okay, So, uh, so quotient rule, actually it looks like I'm going to use the quotient rule here. So the quotient rule setup is going to be the uh, low times the derivative of the high minus the high times the derivative of the low, okay? And so when you do that, this is what you end up with. And don't forget, you have the chain rule here because when you take the derivative of the low, the derivative of y is dy dx, okay? So negative y plus x dy dx over y squared, all right? And then we replace the dy dx with what we discovered uh, dy dx to be equal to, which is negative x over y. So y plus x times negative x times y to the negative 1, all right? That's what I have on the top, and then I just simplify that down a little bit. And you get like a really kind of goofy looking answer, negative y minus x squared uh, times y to the negative 1 all over y squared, but that's your answer, okay? Now you could have done the same problem the exact same way, but using product rule, and you should get a an equal statement. It might not look exactly like this, but it would be an equal statement. 